in a laboratory, does it? No. Okay. Mama, go ahead and put the glasses on. I'll be right back. Shh. Okay. Yeah, it's recording. You want to stop it. Oh, yeah, you can stop it. Oh, yeah. Would this be safe in a laboratory? Yeah. Do I look like a scientist? No. Yes. Yeah. I look like a mad scientist. If I walked in a laboratory looking like this, they would call the security, they'd handcuff me and take me to the loony bin. Because I got my lab coat not bent where crazy people are. This is my lab coat. I don't have it buttoned up. These glasses will not protect me from anything. In fact, I can see through things so I can know where I'm going. But this up here will be really strange. I can't have hair like this. All right, so one more second. I'll be right back. Is this what a scientist should look like? Good, I'm glad you noticed that. Now, I'm wearing protective clothing on me right now. Raise your hand if you can pick out one item that you see that's protecting me right now. Gloves. Gloves. What do you think the gloves do for me? For experiments. For experiments, but what do they do? You say they're protective. What do they protect me from? Your, um, it's... What do they protect me? Any guess? How about you? Can you tell me? Um, they protect you for if you, like, get your hands dirty. You're right. They keep me from germs and cuts and things, chemicals and such. I can get them on my hands, and these gloves will protect me from that chemical. Keeps my skin from being burned or getting germs where it gets me sick. What else am I wearing that's protective? Glasses. Glasses. Why do, I, why do you think these are protective? Because if there's, like, anything that, like, can... Like your eyes explode and stuff comes out of it, and in case it, if it gets in your eyes, you can protect that. Absolutely correct. Anything that flies in my eyes, I'm protected. They help me from getting anything splashing in my eyes, and they protect me, my eyes first, so I can see and everything. I got one more thing on. What else am I wearing right now? Yes, sir. The coat. The coat, that's right. My lab coat. My lab coat has a special and they were working with some chemicals to do an experiment. Kind of making what you see up there with the, the long beaker with the different colors going up and down. But one of those colors is red and that's alcohol. <gasps> alcohol is something your mom and dad put on your finger or cuts that you have on your finger to make it yeah, exactly. To make it feel better. Kind of looks like a bottle like this. Yep. Oh, I got a green one of those. And it burns your, it burns your cut. Well, the fifth grader, Miss Lawler, was telling them the instructions, telling them what everything was. All right, let's do it. The first one says, I will wait for permission to touch or use any scientific tools, which means you've got to ask me before you touch anything or use it, which is what it should be. That's not a hard rule to follow. The second will be, I will listen carefully to the teacher's instruction. What happened with the fifth grader? Did he listen to the teacher's instruction? No. And what happened to him? He got hurt, didn't he? Yeah. So please listen to myself or your teacher for instructions. Number three. Yeah. All right, we're protected. All right, we're protected. Let's see. Do we have them? Good job, good job. All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, all right, I'm going to get you. Also, sad for those friends. No, no touching, guys. Let's see, let's see. All right, all right. That's not how you smell a science experiment because you could pass out and you would be really bad off. But... Okay, I'm there. Um, where, what day is this? All right, we need to waft. Waft means you take your hand and you draw the smell to you. <laughs> Everyone, show me how to waft. Show me how to waft. Bring that smell to you. Don't get too close to the person beside you because they might stink. Waft. Do you want to bring that thing? Is there water? Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You don't know what this is, so that's what I say. When you don't know what it is, you can't touch it. It's sparkly. I don't know. It's not going to hurt you as long as you're listening. Mr. French would be mad.
Like this, and squeeze as hard as you can. 